careful in the morning because there's a bunch of these that come out and warm themselves every morning. So I tiptoe through the yard. Oh, my favorite walking stick fell down. Good morning, kids. Stretch time. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Oh, sorry. I know. You guys, look what my sweet husband built. Finally, the landing to our deck. Um, we had quite a drop. Pretty hard on my older knees. But it's beautiful. It really is beautiful. I just love that it just wasn't um, stairs all the way down. Another place to put flowers, and I do have some of my plants on it. And Big Fred. Big Fred. I've had him for a while. I have two broody heads over there. Both of them growling at me. Sophie on the right. I've been trying to break her for a couple of weeks. Actually, probably three weeks. I just checked them. There's no eggs underneath them. And I'm just going to have to write it out. Our big project for the last few days was to replace the chicken yard that we've had for a few years with a real structure. Um, the chicken yard that we've had for the last few years was something that I had to put up really quickly. Um, the one that we had had there was destroyed by a windstorm um, and a snowstorm, found it across the yard. So I had to put this up, I think it was like November really quickly just so the chickens had somewhere else to be than the coop during the winter. I am very happy that Bill ended up putting this on one of his project lists. Um, it's not, you know, super easy, but he has a lot of um, experience with this kind of stuff. He's really kind of meticulous about it. He also likes it to look good and uh, he always makes sure that stuff isn't gonna move and isn't gonna collapse. So he's doing a great job, as you'll see. This is not going to be a secured run, at least not right now. This is just a, a shelter for the chickens and the geese to get out of the weather. And here's my philosophy on predators. I think of my protection for my birds as layers. Um, you know, we have a dog. Um, both him and Bill go around the property and pee. Um, sometimes I do. There's a lot of things for the chickens and the geese to get under, to get around. I try to be really good about when I put them to bed and when I get them up in the morning. I don't always stick to the same time. I try to make it to where hopefully a predator doesn't get wind of what my routine is and know kind of when they can come in. I have those little predator eyes that are um, kind of set up around the property. Um, I have, we have actually three, four motion detector lights around the property. Um, not, I don't... We haven't found that it really deters some of the predators. Like we've had a bear walk through a few times. The raccoon, I think, has walked through a couple of times. But I think the majority it might. I run that risk, though. I let them out. They're out all day. I'm inside. I'm not out with them. It's just what I have decided for my birds. And the biggest reason for that is the fact that they look so happy. They look so happy when they're out in grass and they're, I call it chickening. And 
I just want that for my birds. Yes, does it mean a fox can run through and grab one? Yes. Do I want that to happen? Absolutely not. But if it does, as horrific as that would be, um, I know that I've given my chickens and my birds the best absolute life that they could have. You know, there's millions of birds around the world that never see grass, that never see daylight, never see the sky. So as backyard keepers, the majority of us, I think everybody just, you know, wants them to be happy. Still follow me. I think it's funny. Like, all right, I'm Mama Goose. I'll accept that. Do you recall when we were young, running from all things at once? Bill has finished up for the day, so I'm going to show you guys where he ended up. And I knew so he got a lot of the blocking done, which is really cool, which I hate behind. doing. It's a lot of work. Stories I've been told, they never seem to lead my mind. He got all these 4x4s in. The road that I am on. They're all planted really I good. For some time. And see, now the roof is past this cabinet. So I'm sure we'll bring out the metal roofing just a little bit further than this to protect that cabinet more. And I love how he did this kind of work on it too. It's how our house is, but it's just, you know, it's structural, but it's really pretty. He's doing a great job. So we're gonna have a real roof, a real roof. I don't have to worry about it so much. Okay, so I'll talk about the build. Pretty much um, we created a roof a roofed-in chicken yard um, really is an open barn in a way. Um, Rebecca asked me to talk about the um, kind of the hurdles I had to go over, the things I had to keep in mind. Um, we're going to put a metal roof on it. That'll be the last step. So I wanted to have a pitch, enough of a pitch, so that keeping the snow off it wouldn't be a huge deal. That you know, maybe the sun in the winter would take care of a good chunk of it. Um, the other side is on the back side, our proximity to the goose coop um, left me so I didn't have much room to play with the pitch. Um, and the third factor in the back being clearance. You know, Rebecca wanted to, and rightfully so, be able to walk in and out of the ends. And now, um, you know, easily with the design we can. The other was, in a way, it's a, I'm no engineer, okay? It's a floating roof in a way. And, um, you know, structurally, I wanted to have it so if we did get a heck of a storm and, you know, us or our resources had to go elsewhere for a while so that um, it wasn't the huge priority of cleaning off this roof because we have other stuff that needs to be done. Um, I wanted the roof to be tough enough that I could take it and it definitely is um so that being said um i also wanted to think ahead a little bit and really it wouldn't take much and i was showing rebecca earlier if we wanted to close this in even closing the back door aside um, either side um closing it in would be pretty easy it is in the design already to, to build off the structure and to still have um some big entryways other part well obviously the tree um which really i talked about the roof i talked about the structure as being you know major parts of this build obviously the tree is here i'm using it for some of the structure um it is what it is i will be before we get the roof all the way around the tree i will be dealing with above our roof um and, and taking care of, you know, I'm making this pyramid design, but either way, I'll be taking care of something in a, man, a different manner to um, try to maintain this area to be as dry as we can. And I think I've, I've got a number of ideas that um, 
in cooperation with each other really should solve a problem that Rebecca has been having. What else? And, you know, I mean, it is what it is. It's just a, a chicken barn. But, um, you know, ultimately we want it to look good. Or, or at least look good in so much as it ties in with everything else. And I think the design of the structure definitely does that as well. So, I think that's it. Um, I, I think that's it. I'm sure Rebecca's talked about it enough. Otherwise, that I, I just hopefully filled in some gaps. And of course, the geese are here. So, thanks, everybody. Enjoy.